Welcome to the Sports Moment from the Washington Post, your ticket to the Summer Olympics. It is Saturday, July 27th, and I'm Ava Wallace, a sports reporter for the Washington Post. Today, it's just me giving you a rundown of a few important things that happened at yesterday's opening ceremonies and a few things I'm looking forward to checking out later today. So yesterday, the day of the opening ceremonies arrives. It's the day that Paris organizers have been anticipating for years and years because they're trying to put on this ostentatious show on the Seine. And it started with two things that nobody really wanted, the first of which was rain, and the second of which was more serious. It was a security scare, arson attacks that targeted France's high-speed trains and disrupted transit on a hugely busy travel day in and around Paris. As of today, there aren't too many new updates to give you. It was not immediately clear who was behind the suspected attacks and authorities have not announced any arrests. But eventually those kind of frayed nerves all dissipated as people got really excited for the opening ceremonies, which were this huge grand show on the Seine that were pretty marvelous. It was, it was a good show. And even if you were soaked in the rain like I was watching at a watch party, the energy was really high. You had Lady Gaga perform, Aya Nakamura, who's a chart-topping French pop singer who's really big here. And of course, Celine Dion close the show in most dramatic fashion possible from atop the Eiffel Tower. She's absolutely beloved in France, and you could tell how much she loved being up there singing, too. Today is the first day where we're seeing a lot of events that I'm actually excited to get out to. All of the times that I'm about to say are in Eastern, by the way, but equestrian is happening. That beach volleyball that everyone has been talking about on the sands in front of the Eiffel Tower is happening. Something I am looking forward to is what's being called the race of the century, and that's the women's 400 meter freestyle featuring Katie Ledecky, of course, a very famous U.S. swimmer the Australian Ariane Titmus and the Canadian teen Summer McIntosh. And those three women have owned the 400 meter freestyle world record at different times in their careers. Combined, they've posted the top 28 times ever in the event. It's going to be really, really fun, going to be high drama. And that is at 2.52 p.m. if you want to tune in. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is at 11.15 a.m., so before then, France kicks off its basketball tournament here, and it's a really exciting time to be watching basketball at the Olympics kind of for the first time in a long time because there are so many teams around the world who are actual contenders and are going to kind of give the presumed medal winners, which is always the presumption as an American, uh, Team USA is going to win the gold medal, but they're going to have to go through a lot of really good NBA players to get there first, which is not always the case, but you've got guys like Nikola Jokic, who's playing for Serbia, you've got an Australian team loaded with NBA talent. And of course, France is really exciting because it's the first time that Victor Wembanyama will be suiting up for his national team on this level with this many eyes pointed at him. He's going to be kicking off group play against Brazil. One fun thing that I've also been tracking is that this feels like a summer game that's chock full of celebrities. If you watched the opening ceremonies last night, you saw Kelly Clarkson and Peyton Manning. There are a bunch of other people here, including Flavor Flav, who has kind of worked his way into Team USA and being at this Olympics because he sponsors the women's water polo team. Basically, the captain of the women's water polo team said, we need more exposure. Flavor Flav said, I am your guy for that. So this 60-something rapper has now been kind of bouncing around France and getting people hyped for all of these Team USA events. And last night during the opening ceremonies, a bunch of my colleagues were kind of fanned out throughout the city, taking the opening ceremonies in from a bunch of different vantage points. And two of my colleagues, Ted Muldoon and Rick Mace, went to Team USA house where they ran into Flavor Flav. These houses are kind of different buildings throughout France that are dedicated to obviously different delegations. This year is actually the first time Team USA House is open to the public. And when I say open to the public, I of course mean it costs 325 euros to buy a ticket in. But anyway, they rented a huge stone building with columns all around it. It was actually originally built in the early 19th century as a stock exchange building, if that gives you any sense of how big it is. And it's now draped with huge banners, red, white, and blue everywhere. Team USA House is printed on everything. It's it's not very subtle. And here's a little taste of what it was like inside Team USA house last night during the opening ceremonies. You might be wondering what beer they're serving at Team USA house. And I can tell you, it is exclusively Michelob Ultra. It's like no other home I've been in. 
My name is Summer Sanders. I was an Olympic swimmer from 1992. I won two golds, a silver, and a bronze. The USA House is notoriously the best place to be at every Olympic Games. There is just this in intense feeling of home, connectiveness. Summer Sanders! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, man. I know you from back in the day, man. The Summer Sanders. Can I tell you the best news ever? What? I have a granddaughter and her name is Summer. Get out, seriously. Wow! Summer Breeze! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Bye! Fun. Today is a big show. You know a lot about putting on a big, big performance. What, what is the key to a great opening ceremony, do you think? The key to an opening great ceremony is me being able to watch it. <laughs> as soon as I stepped in the room, everybody got so excited. Everybody's wanting photos, 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 photos. I'm taking pictures with the ambassadors. I'm taking pictures with everybody. And you're enjoying your, your, your ambassadorship so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying my ambassadorship so far. Not only that, but I might end up being the next ambassador. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> That was sports reporter Rick Mace and senior audio producer Ted Muldoon becoming best friends with Flavor Flav. That's it for today on The Sports Moment. If you want more up-to-date information and the latest news from Paris, you should also subscribe to my newsletter, which is also called The Sports Moment. You can find a link to The Sports Moment newsletter in our show notes. Today's episode was produced and mixed by Ted Muldoon. It was edited by Joe Tone. I'm Ava Wallace. Until next time from Paris. Hold up. 